dear stakeholders of education in India. A very good morning to all of you. I'm very happy to be part of this historic moment in the education scenario of India. More than 100 years ago, we had a great revolution in Indian society, which is called the Pallikudam Revolution. Pallikudam Revolution was actually initiated or pioneered by one of the greatest social reformers of Kerala in Kerala Church, St. Kuryakos Elias Chavra. It was his vision and mission to make education open to all without any barriers or boundaries, without any discriminations. In other words, to make it all inclusive. St. Kuryakos Elias Chavara can be rightly called the champion of inclusiveness. In all spheres of life, whether it is social life, education, culture, or humanitarian activities, in all spheres of life, of the society, he was a champion of uh, inclusiveness. What he tried to propagate in Kerala society of those times was to have this inclusiveness in all fields where his close associates and fellow workers are engaged in. And we find education apostolates or education ministry of St. Kuryakos Elias Chavara continue to be an inclusive venture by his followers today. The religious congregation called Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, who runs a lot of educational institutions all over India, are trying to relive that very dream of this great visionary and missionary. Today, we are witnessing to something called Second Pallikudam Revolution. That is in the field of a digital world or through digital media. We all are familiar with the, the famous saying of uh, the father of uh, communication on media, Marshall Maklu, who said, the world has become a universal village. And today, we know that knowingly or unknowingly, we have become the citizens of that village, global village. We often speak about seven continents in this world or in this universe. And today we are speaking about the eighth continent, that is the digital continent. And we all are the members of this digital continent, the citizens of this continent. Especially in the context of uh, the pandemic, COVID-19, we are in a way compelled to be the citizens of this digital continent. Uh, we are compelled to be at home rather than being at school or at office. We are trying to cope up with the so-called new normal. And the word connectedness has the key term of our life today. Connectedness is not merely a technical term that we use when we use networks. But connectedness 
is very much related with uh, our life in society and in this world, especially in this new normal situation. And we all know that digital media has undergone a lot of change in this particular scenario. Today we speak about multimediality, intermediality and portability in the field of uh, digital media. And today one who read or uh, one who make use of different kinds of media is not merely a passive spectator but uh, simultaneously he or she is uh, actively involved in that process and that's why we call ourselves rightly we are netizens in this digital continent as we all understand education today is supported guided enriched by this digital media the primary aim of education was considered in the past as making change in the life of a person and also in the society. But today, in this age, we consider education as a, something like managing the change or to learn to manage the change in the world and in the society. And what Rajagiri Media is trying today is to accompany the young minds and also to support the educationalists to have a correct or a right perspective in this new scenario of education. We all know that education should synergize different spheres of life, namely emotional quotient, intellectual quotient, emotional quotient, social quotient and spiritual quotient of a person. Maybe a healthy synthesis of all these different spheres of life is done by or envisioned by Rajagiri media. And we can correctly call it RQ, the Rajagiri quotient. So Rajagiri media is trying to communicate this Rajagiri quotient to its stakeholders in the field of education today. And what we are trying here, as rightly mentioned by the director of this Rajagiri media, today we are trying to make quality education universal and often or always Rajagiri institutions and Rajagiri media is trying to blend quality with uh, charity and that is the motto of uh, Rajagiri endeavors to have quality education at the same time with a vision of uh, charity and humanitarian perspectives. And I'm sure this digital version of uh, Rajagiri media will contribute in achieving this great ideal, which was actually dreamt by the founder of all these endeavors, St. Kuryakos Elias Chavara, through the first Pallikudam revolution. As we are relaunching the digital version of Pallikudam today, I wish all the best to all the stakeholders of education as well as all people who are working behind to make this dream true. All the best and God's blessings to all of you.